the fact that people are doing all of the right things, yet they feel like they're being left behind. They don't have uh, the opportunity to create wealth for themselves and for their family. And I just couldn't quite wrap my head around it. And then one day it just hit me out of the blue, that meme that everyone had seen on the internet with you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. I'm like, that's it. You'll own nothing. There are lots of signs that we are drawing really close to the end of the present world order. To begin with, more and more expert geopolitical and financial analysts are talking about our crumbling financial and social systems and what it will mean for future generations. But perhaps the most important sign of this rapid decay is the quality of life today compared to only a few decades ago. Many Americans can still remember a better time when both parents didn't have to hold multiple jobs to cater to their children's needs. Back in the day, most fathers could afford to have their wives stay at home to take care of the children and the home while they went to work to take care of the family's financial needs. With only one parent working, most of these families could still afford good meals, a decent house with a yard, garden, and a lovely white picket fence, the occasional family trips and vacations, and great schools for their children. No thanks to our government's reckless policies, these things that used to be normal and easily achievable are now a part of the permanently elusive American dream. Today, even with both parents working two or more jobs each, most families struggle to achieve things that were so easily achievable only a few decades ago. This is, of course, not to diminish how hard parents worked back in the day to provide for their families. They worked very hard every waking minute to ensure their children had no worries. But it is much easier to put in your best when you know your government is not working against you. When you know that if you work hard enough, you will be able to achieve your goals. The reality is much different today. Most parents now have to come to terms with the fact that no matter how hard they try, their lofty dreams will remain very elusive. During a recent interview with Liberty and Finance, Carol Roth, an entrepreneur and author who describes herself as a recovering investment banker, sheds light on the current state of global affairs and how we are rapidly transitioning into a new world order. Roth's book, You Will Own Nothing, is focused on the global elite's diabolical initiative of canceling property ownership and enforcing a system where you rent everything from the stakeholders who will conveniently own everything while the rest of us beg for even the clothes on our backs. We will now bring you clips from the interview. But before we do, please take a little time to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications bell for more videos like this. Thanks, and enjoy the video. People are doing all of the right things, yet they feel like they're being left behind. They don't have uh, the opportunity to create wealth for themselves and for their family. And so I'm just going to go think about this for a while. And I started kind of going through all of these things that were barriers to our wealth that were creeping up, um, whether that be, you know, informal social credit, whether that be the potential for central bank digital currencies, whether it was the debasement of currency by central banks from around the world, whether it was big tech trying to rent our lives back to us as a subscription or a service. Here in the U.S., things like Wall Street competing with individuals to buy single family homes and, and the cost of education, keeping young people at a financial disadvantage. And, you know, I'm looking at all of these things and I'm trying to figure out the through line. And I just couldn't quite wrap my head around it. And then one day it just hit me out of the blue that meme that everyone had seen on the internet with you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. I'm like, that's it. You'll own nothing. And when you think about what, you know, what that says, when you have this group from the World Economic Forum, if you're not familiar with the meme, it comes from their top eight predictions for 2030. Um, you have this group that is littered with the business elite and the political elite. So if they're predicting the end of private property by 2030, um, that's concerning for somebody who knows that the only way that you create wealth is by owning things. And you know, hopefully those things are assets that can retain value or increase in value. 
And there was sort of a lot more to unpack there. The the fact that it was you'll own nothing and not will own nothing. <laughs> the fact that they want you to buy in and be happy. And the fact that throughout history, the people who haven't had property have not been happy. They haven't been free. They haven't been wealthy. And in many cases, you know, they've starved or, or lost their lives. So that kind of created this rapper, provocative rapper, to talk about the shifts that are happening in the global financial order and how all of these sort of disparate forces, you know, whether it's governments and central banks, whether it's these NGOs or intergovernmental organizations or big business or big tech, how they're all working in their own way and sometimes together to put up these barriers to wealth creation. The, the question that we all have to answer is why now? You know, if you have all of these organizations that feel empowered to be able to create these barriers, like why is this happening in 2023 in a way that it didn't happen in, you know, 1990 or 1970 or whatever it is? And so this is the part, well, one of the parts that seems very conspiratorial, but what I've tried to do with this book um, is use my background and use sources, as many as I can, from the corporate press and mainstream media to, you know, put their own words out there um, to take that conspiracy element out of the discourse, because much of this is not a conspiracy. So this shift, its idea that the new financial world order is going to shift sounds like the ultimate conspiracy, right? New world order, tinfoil hat stuff. But this is basically just history and cycles. One important diabolic plot the world's elite have never tried to hide is the Great Reset Agenda by the World Economic Forum. This international, supposedly non-governmental organization believes the world is in a climate crisis. And the only way out is rapid depopulation and the complete dependence on corporations and their elite executives for everything. Imagine a world where you own nothing, not your car, the house you live in, or even the clothes on your back. Through what it describes as stakeholder capitalism, the World Economic Forum is looking to place ownership in the hands of a few individuals while others rent from them and have their decisions made by them. The most alarming part of this is that it has already started, and many people are still blissfully unaware. That's the eventual ultimate collapse and drastic restructuring of our economic and financial systems. That's the ultimate crisis that's going to make the 2008 global financial crisis and the pandemic seem like a walk in the park. And that's exactly why the central banks are loading up on more gold than at any other point in history. Let's get back to the interview as Carol sheds more light on these diabolical plans. And so this is something that changes based on human nature and cycles and the same thing that happened, you know, at, in, with the Dutch Empire that happened with the British Empire that's kind of starting to happen here in the United States. And it's things like governments getting really big and overspending and you know running up debts and a lot of infighting amongst the population and, and so on and so forth. And so the idea that we're getting close to a shift or, you know, and again, close, I can't tell you the exact time because in history, as I said, that, you know, time periods are different than as we're living them day to day. But we all agree, you know, that things are more tenuous financially You know, in the United States. Debt to GDP is exceeded as we're recording this 120 percent. Um, the deficit is 8% of GDP, you know, the things that are unsustainable and untenable from a, a financial situation. So, you know, I'm not the only one who's, who's seen this. Many very smart people have written about this. And even the president of the United States has talked about this. Now, we can say lots of things about Joe Biden. That he's a conspiracy theorist is probably not one that comes up in anybody's top, you know, 500 things that you would say about him. So he was in front of the business roundtable, which is the CEOs of all the publicly traded companies in the United States, the biggest companies, March 21st of 2022. And he explains this. He says that the, you know, the financial order flips over every three to four generations, just like we talked about. And then he goes on and says a few more things. And at the end, he says, there's going to be a new world order out there and we've got to lead it. Now, again, this idea of we, it's you know him and the business leaders, the people who are connected and in the know 
know that there is going to be a shift coming. So if you are somebody who is powerful and you are somebody who's wealthy and you're in that elite circle, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit back and go, wow, I hope this works out for me. And, you know, maybe as things change, it'll, you know, I'll still be on top. Or do you work to try to control things so that you can ensure you and your friends and cronies come out on top? I don't think that that's a conspiratorial leap to know that that's how human nature works. So, of course, as these people, entities, elites see things shifting, they're working to make sure they stay on top. And so, you know, I don't suggest that there's a table that everyone's sitting around where you have, you know, Dr. Evil going, ooh, you know, you need to like make sure nobody has anything. But they are worried that things are shifting and that it's not going to work out for them. And so as they protect what they think that they have a right to, if everybody else's freedoms, opportunities, and the like fall by the wayside, they just don't care. And I think that's a very realistic perspective that everybody has to look through. And again, this wouldn't be happening if we had been, if our government had been fiscally responsible, if the Fed had, you know, managed the global reserve currency for both the international community's benefit and the domestic uh, benefit of the citizens of the United States. You know, we didn't have these this crazy debt and deficit like this wouldn't be a discussion that we're having. But when you have a balance sheet for the holder of the, the global reserve currency that looks like an emerging market balance sheet. And the only thing that's keeping them from a currency crisis is the fact that it's the global reserve currency. And you know, that then shows weakness to the world that all these other bad actors are looking to exploit. You can certainly see how things are on more fragile ground and why this would be the, the time period where you're seeing more of this happen. Speaking further, Carol explains that it has become even more paramount to invest, especially in hard assets like gold, productive land, and real estate. Do what the elite are doing, not what they are saying. The hard assets you invest in today will help you preserve your wealth so it is not completely decimated by inflation and dollar devaluation. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the median price of a home in the second quarter of 1972 was just $26,800. That's around $197,338 in today's dollars. Yet, the U.S. median home price was $412,000 in September 2023, according to Redfin. And it's now just home prices. It's food prices, asset prices, tuition costs, rent, and just about every other thing. This is why you need all the protection you can get now. You also need a community of like-minded individuals and the ability to completely exist and survive outside the system. Please share your thoughts on the video in the comment section below. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.